Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Voyage to Echoes, our No Man's Sky series. Apparently I'm still adjusting sound. <laughs> I hope everyone is great today. We are going to start with uh, hitting the wrong buttons because why shouldn't we? <laughs> We're going to start patterns in time today. We need to get rid of a few things here. So we have 15,802 nanites. This just keeps getting better. This save has been uh, absolutely awesome. C class. It is 43 slots though. Hmm. Uh, do we need slots? Yes, we do need a couple. Yeah, that one looks good. This... This is correct, so yeah, that one right there. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. B class. I've forgotten already what it is that we need to buy, but let's sell uh, this stuff first. Three Sentinel weapon shards. Uh, I believe that's for the bolt caster. And an A class movement module. Uh, we don't need A-Class. We've got 17,540, and that is all of the inventory we have access to. So there's a mining beam in there. Uh, we do need uh, S-Class mining beams. All we have is that A-Class garbage. Uh, there we go. Alrighty. Uh, so that is a upgrade. That's an upgrade, and that is an upgrade. That's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, 21, 11, 21, 11. They're exactly the same. All right, let's grab this uh, A class here, and we'll get rid of one of... Them. Wait, that one. We'll get rid of that one. No, we can't. Let's see, advanced mining laser. I was almost clicking on the wrong thing there. Oh, come on. What, what happened there? There we go. Alright. Uh, now that's better. That one is... Uh, that one has four things on it, so we definitely want to get more of those. It's a pulse spitter that we need. And probably better scanners at some point. But yeah, we need to build that pulse spitter. Uh, but I didn't see any of that. Is there something else? What about the ship? Does it want anything? Uh, it needs shields and it needs uh, infra knives. There we go. It's all A class. <coughs> Excuse me. Ey. Three of them. <laughs> uh, just a little bit distracted today. Uh, Armored Annie and I uh, had to restart uh, our Sunken Land series because uh, we made a teeny tiny boo boo when we set up the game. <laughs> you can't uh, you can't change the settings. It says you can modify, but it didn't modify when we modified. <laughs> <laughs> Probe the uh, Viking lore. I don't have enough Viking words yet. Uh, as the warrior begins their bark, <laughs> it always comes before the bite, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Graw, pathetic and low interloper. <laughs> Prying into Viking secrets, cowardly spy I should kill. <laughs> but traveler must be aided, such as command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper, retrieve the words of Herc, ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. Location of Herc's command is marked for you. Commune with their words. Okay, fine. Let's go. <laughs> scrap dealer. I don't know why it wants me to learn about the scrap dealer right now. <laughs> Every save, 
you have the, all of these things will come up. It treats every save as your first. Which is an interesting thing, I think, that a lot of people have asked over the years, seven years, um, to give us the option to turn off the this is my first save ever kind of stuff. So I basically turn off hints. Um, and what they did was give us the ability to turn off the tutorial, but that doesn't turn off the hints. <laughs> a super thick atmosphere. I still don't know where the ground is exactly. That's the ground. Okay. Wow! That's a mountain! Ooh! Storm crystals! Okay, this place is really terrible. There's a building. It's not what we're looking for. It looks like it's way too far away. I believe that we are looking for a monolith. This is way too far away, but this is a pretty bad storm right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around before I park back to the direction I was coming from. Oh, you can see my base computer. Oh boy. It's alright, suit lady. If you want to sing radioactive, it's fine with me. <laughs> suit lady, I want you to take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. She calmed down. She stopped complaining. All right, let's see. How far away is it? Oh, uh, oh, I thought it said 140. It's, <laughs> it's uh, 1,400 units away. <laughs> We're going to fly over there. <laughs> There's some more navigation data on that table right there. And uh, I check this every time because there's quite a bit of time in between me shooting the episodes. A lot of time goes by. Uh, in this case, it's been since uh, today is Wednesday, um, the 4th, and it's been since last week sometime. Thursday, maybe. Oh, wait a minute. It's the other way. That way. All right. So I didn't turn all the way around facing the right direction, I guess. I did lose that signal super early, though, so... All right. I don't think we're going to be able to see a monolith. But what is this building here? Oh, that's not the building. That's the building. That is an observatory. Oh, that's going to help. <laughs> I did turn the, you know, now I got a problem because now I have another building that's too far away. Okay, that is just for... <laughs> Suit lady. Alright, this is another one. Wow, we've got two of these. Now that the storm is over, it's not like we don't have a radiation shield on. Oh, I'm way further away. Alright, let's just grab this. <laughs> I guess I'll grab this too, because I can't help it. Oh, look, I've got a signal again. <laughs> Do I lose the signal when I get in my ship? Is that what the problem is? Uh, I 
There we go. Dang it. <laughs> it's only 1800 units, so probably have gone too far again. My problem is is that every shiny object, you know. Oh no, I'm still I'm still all right. The sky is clear. We should be able to see a monolith down there. Somewhere. Somewhere. I had to turn around and look again because I thought I saw something else. <laughs> I should have maybe tried to mark that. Oh, here's a thing. Maybe this is what it wants me to go to. No. Goodness. Did my log change? Oh, that is it. <laughs> Look up, dummy. There is such a thing as doing this too slowly. <laughs> Slow is one thing, but but there is such a thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> The nobler tra noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted, so it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment and the belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of Viking warriors spills from the marker stone, filtering into my mind like a long-forgotten memory. I begin to speak, and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. None hamper the path towards Drindarg as the Sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so it shall come to be. This is the Viking swear. I call out once more, my throat harsh and gasping, the sound guttural. The words spill forth, summoned by the power of the monolith. The Book of Herc speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. <laughs> As their words fade, their lines still resonating in my vision, I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. And there it is, the Viking tablet, right there. Uh, it's got a value, but don't don't sell it before you talk to the Viking dude. A stone tablet bearing line after line of intricate runes. The words are unintelligible, an ancient dialect forgotten by all but the oldest of the Viking elders. The hand that carved this stone must have been extraordinary. The stonework is precise, delicate, and yet perfectly conveys the unyielding aggression its writer clearly possessed. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if all those words are right. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Let's not fight the Sentinels this time. Oh, they're, they're deactivated. There we go. Alright. Yeah, they thought for a minute that they want might want to argue with me, but then they change their minds. <laughs> I don't know why. If they saw the last fight, they might think they still had a chance. <laughs> All right. This is the, the reason why I can't get all three races onto the same video, because I don't want to rush it. And, um, you know, it takes a while to find the markers. Plus, if you see, you know, shiny objects, you have to stop and look at them. It's all very, you know, it's all very uh, uh, neurologic. <laughs> maybe, maybe might require some medication at some point. <laughs> all right. 
traders. <laughs> We're learning all kinds of stuff. We do need to buy a receiver, and since we have the money, I think we'll go over there and do that before we leave here. Noel wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could of the Atlas, the creator of all universes, the Sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the travelers who committed some unforgivable act long ago. Ra, you are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold. Let's ask them about the Sentinels. Enemy. Enemy. Destroyers of worlds. Servants of liar Atlas. Why is the Atlas a liar? Any being that claims to be a god is not one. Progenitor Herc knew this well. Battle brother Nal did not. They died for a false dream. The Viking tells me of their history of wars with the Gek, of Korvac slaves and tyrannous empires. The Viking suggests that if the Atlas is a god, then it is insane. I'm about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about 16. What? What face are... The Viking is visibly pained by my mention of the mer number, staring at their terminal as if they have seen it for the first time. Their words slur a strange sound, entering every sentence. It's funny how that number 16 affects every one of them in one way or another. Some of them in not such great ways. There's a lot of people here. I don't think I currently have uh, any technology to concern myself with. These things should be on the freighter, though. Oh, I need... Um, need slots. Didn't I have some? Or did I use them uh, for the tech? I have to keep checking down there. I wish they wouldn't have put all those slots down there. But, okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I had to run over there and see what it is, though. <laughs> oh, nice view. Alright. I keep doing this because we keep getting Quicksilver. We also get Nanites, but the Quicksilver is more important because it takes a lot of Quicksilver to buy something, uh, which is why I want to buy things on my other save until I use up all of that Quicksilver first. And um, I think we will go ahead and grab some of this stuff. Uh, we got the ships and the frigates. Uh, but there's other things available, like this little blob thing. See, it says available, which means I've already paid for it. And this thing's nice. I still haven't used it. Um, I do like that cape. And then grass. Uh, I don't think we need furniture yet. The decal, uh, where does it go? Add flare and decoration to bases. Oh, that kid, that goes on the wall. I can't, I couldn't remember if that was the one that goes on your banner or not. Uh, nice. Get the fireplace. Don't forget the fireplace. Uh, we don't need to arm our uh, pets. And we don't need that stuff. Chromatic Starship Trail. I think we have to build that as a technology. 
and then uh, we want Where's the polo one? Oh, that might be on my other save. I don't know if we can use more than one of these at a time, but we can try. And then rainbow jetpack? Should we do rainbow jetpack? Because it's super silly. Well, I mean, it makes me behave kind of super silly. <laughs> backpack. Uh, backpack style. Um, no, you can't see it. <laughs> Maybe you can see it if I actually do something. Oh. <laughs> it's not nearly as impressive. goofing off and I still haven't even gone to Nada. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Life is everywhere but nowhere. The Convergence has seen all planets, but where are they really? Where is home? Where is safe? This is a pattern, Traveler. All things are patterns. Signs of the Atlas. Corvax see across universe with countless convergent eyes, minds in harmony, worship Atlas. But to understand Atlas is the edge of our collective mind. Nada does not wish to go to that edge, and so Nada is divergent. Nada is exiled, hunted, no place for the willful. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever read that. And I, I'm just not saying falsity because we know. We know, Nada. We know. <laughs> so, uh, I think that what we will do um, is we will. We have time to go ahead and start the Atlas. And uh, then on the next one, we'll go to the Corvax and then another Atlas. We need to get the Atlas stones in order to build uh, the technology that we get from this mission. And so I want to make sure... Oh, I could have gotten a suit slot in there. Uh, I wanted to make sure uh, that we did both. And you can see uh, Kuhashi Tasusa right there with the symbol on it. Um, I don't want to leave behind this atlas because we already d identified it, remember, uh, in a prior episode uh, when the mission first came up, I think. It might have been the last episode. I can't remember. <laughs> they come out in the middle of the night. I haven't seen it yet. What more excuses can I find? <laughs> Yaita. Yaita merit system. It's going to be really cool because at the end of this mission we can choose to go uh, 10 galaxies hence. And uh, I haven't done that yet. I was going to do that on normalish. And I haven't gotten that far because, you know, shiny objects. And it's really a long way to the center. <laughs> I suppose I could take a portal and just go through. <laughs> but uh, I think I have to finish. I'm right in the middle of this mission on normalish, I think. I can't remember, honestly. Alright, let's see. I think you only get one word in the first atlas. And uh, then in the next one you get between five and seven, perhaps. And Wait a minute. I might get two words if I keep persisting. And uh, then you get, like, between five and ten. And on the last uh, atlas, there's no words. But you can continue to learn the Atlas language. Just calm down, Atlas. I'm talking. You can continue to learn the Atlas language uh, through monoliths. And of course, we get these two uh, hyperdrive uh, warp cells. All right, here we go. The Emerald Singularity. You need to have some of your milestones done in order to do this as well. 
the Etrini. I can't remember what this says. Uh, the Atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such a power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asks me to follow its path. And here we got that milestone pathfinder. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path to enlightenment opens to me. And there is our captured nanode. We obviously don't have the chromatic metal yet. Uh, we also need to get uh, cadmium and uh, indium, I think it is. I wonder if that is uh, inside my uh, refiner. Oh, it wouldn't be because it would have deleted. I'm sure I took it out. Let's see here. Uh, we can just use emerald because it takes a lot less emerald. Uh, you get two emerald for every three chromatic metal, so we'll get 138 out of 92. Oh, it would have to be further away. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be, like, closer, you know, <laughs> closer to the Corvax system I need to go to. So let's, uh, oh, it did go back to patterns in time. Okay, we should be able to just see it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right there. Uh, Kuashi Tasusa. I think that's what I said before. It's super close to the original position, but the Atlas is going to go way out before it turns and comes back towards where I started. Here's a bunch of them. Oh, hey, here's our freighter battle. Oh, darn. It's got that um, thing on it. I did want to know, though. So much better. I, I don't even know what to say except that I just never even thought to back away from the fight. Although I think I might have hit the freighter. <laughs> That is so much better. I just have to say thank you to Seriously Gaming for just constantly saying that. Just back up. Just back up. <laughs> I do need to get a little bit closer to them though. There we go. Because they're going to come back around, right? There he is. Except that I lost control of my ship. <laughs> this is like frustrating that's the frustrating part is that I can't stop my ship from going forward <laughs> I feel like I have to turn towards him a little bit because see he's right next to me I'm trying to learn how to do this you know 
again because uh, it's something that they changed so much. Oh, I keep hitting the shields on that freighter. Oh, come on, come on. Ugh. I think that's why I was saying that I needed to turn on that. Um, uh, the thing that stops the... Uh, or the... What do you call it? The reticle. Why is he so far away? Is he literally on the other side of the shield? Still says out of range. I think I'm hitting the good guys. Can I kill him? Finally? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I can't fight like this man. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to fight that way, but I need to be able to fly forward. I forgot I had that thing. <laughs> Boom! My boom rockets. Ah, stop drifting so far. Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness. Oh, we did it. <laughs> that was horrifying. I'm surprised I'm not being attacked by uh, sentinels right now. <laughs> Alright, there's stuff in every inventory. It's, uh, you need to be sure if, uh, we're gonna find out if we have to pay for this. Uh, someone asked last time if you have to pay for this. I don't know. I'm gonna find out right now. But, um, I'm gonna take the elevator though. <laughs> I'm so used to the stairs. Still. Oh, God. It's like the old guys always looking for Raijojin. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, you need to have things in your inventories in order to transfer uh, your your freighter build. But uh, let's just see if it's going to be free. <laughs> uh, inspect freighter. It's C class. I don't, you know, I don't know if it matters to me if it's C class. It is only thirty million for C class. You don't have to be so rude. Um, uh, the other answer is no. I don't have any tech in that uh, in that old freighter. It's 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 charging money. Yeah, it says exchange for twenty five million. And since it's C class, we're gonna leave it be. Uh, maybe we can get paid though. There we go. The Corvette standing is nice. Alright. Anybody else land? Just shuttles and haulers? Okay. Off we go to the space station. Boy, that was hard. Ooh. Not much talking in the middle of that. I really need to get that photon cannon, though as a secondary, because I don't think I needed to fire a rocket to end up either one of those two. <laughs> I think I could have, I think I could have probably done that with a photon cannon. Alright, let's see what it takes to build one. Uh, I just need to make some pure ferrite, and that's easy enough. We've got uh, rusted metal right there. I can make pure ferrite out of that. And yeah, I don't have any technology but I can fill in these slots I have four bulkheads and uh, we might uh, try to do that next time 
uh, as well as next time we are here at the Corvax Cartographer and we will definitely get to that next time. Thank you all so much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.